can't. I can't. I can't say that. Stop it, I'm not going to say that. Well, I'm certainly not saying that. If he promises to hang up, I'll say it. OK. Enjoy Thailand. Bye, sweetheart. That was Guy. He's such a naughty little boy. Yeah, you cheeky little 51-year-old. <laughs> Just when does a naughty little boy become a dirty old man? Well, at least he's not emotionally constipated on the phone. You get embarrassed if you have to use a verb. Tim, pub, hey, done. <laughs> Done's a verb. <laughs> Sorry, can you disinfect that before you put it back? <laughs> you're just jealous because you're not with anyone. Uh, I could be with someone if I wanted. It's a lifestyle choice. I like to pick and mix. Rubbish. When was the last time you had any mix to pick? Uh, quite recently, actually. When? Was the Berlin Wall up or down? I don't know. I try not to think about building work when I'm with a woman. Yeah, but I bet the lady involved passed the time by inspecting the cracks on the ceiling. Actually, she was inspecting the lino on the kitchen floor. Oh. So it's been a while, then. <laughs> Do you know why I think you haven't got a girlfriend? Just clean. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbour's ox. What exactly do you think I've got in that room? <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty of other women out there that would find a man like you a viable option. You've just got to cast your rod a little wider. <laughs> Actually, you might need a net. What's up? Ah, uh, nothing. I just had a rup with your sister. Don't worry, that's not Cockney rhyming slang. <laughs> What was it about? Uh, she wasn't happy about the way I shagged her. <laughs> her and Guy were on the phone being all lovey-dovey. What's wrong with that? He's in his 50s, for God's sake. It's disgusting. It's virtually grooming. <laughs> you could always not listen. How can I not listen? I can't tune these into something else, you know. They're not like your heffalumps. <laughs> they don't pick up the world service. <laughs> You're just jealous because she's in a relationship and you're not. Oh, don't you stop. Well, it has been a while, hasn't it? Have you actually had a girlfriend in colour? <laughs> I have, actually, yes. I've had one in colour, digital and high definition. High definition? I don't think that's a good idea. I've seen some of your exes. <laughs> you need to find someone. All right. Let's do it. Tomorrow night, out on the town. Me and you. OK, why not? The girls won't know what's hit them. Probably be your ears. <laughs> oh, you smell nice. Don't tell me. Obsession by Calvin Klein. No, links by two, get one free. <laughs> Shouldn't you be on the phone giving the Chelsea pensioner a heart attack? his phone off. Mm, interesting. There is a time difference, you know. That's true. He's about 30 years ahead of you, isn't he? <laughs> so, is everything all set for the great buffalo hunt? Ooh. Thanks, Jermaine Greer. <laughs> Very respectful of your fellow sisters. Are you nervous? A bit. Well, come on, you can practice your chat-up lines on me. Get lost. No, I won't take the mick, I promise. Come on. I'll be the woman, you pretend to be the man. <laughs> right, we're in a bar. What would your opening gambit be? Can I get you another lemonade? Imagine we're in a really expensive cocktail bar. All right. Can I get you another lemonade? <laughs> so, what's your name? Bobby. Sorry, mate, it's a bit dark in here. <laughs> Short for Roberta. I bet you get a lot of flack about that. <laughs> Women like a sense of humor. That's true. Why don't you try that? 
And what should I say? Just be yourself. Oh, that old chestnut. <laughs> they all say that to begin with, then a few rules start creeping in, don't they? Less jokes, more washing. <laughs> Get that gaffer tape off me. Will you do this seriously, please? Come on, pretend I'm someone else. Someone you fancy. Right. Without any wisecracks, what would you say? OK. I'd say, I hope you don't mind me coming over. I know this is stupid, and I know there's no chance of anything ever happening between us. But I want you to know I think you're one of the most beautiful women I've ever met. <laughs> Sorry, but that is so cheesy. Well, you think so, yes. But imagine if you were one of the most beautiful women I'd ever met. <laughs> that was a bit cringeable. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Why are you here? Did you forget to break something? <laughs> oh, this is something. Have you thought of speed dating? No. Have you thought of dusting? <laughs> I've never done it, but I sometimes give my friend a lift. It looks great. And if someone doesn't like you, at least you find out a lot quicker. Oh, great. That frees up a lot of time to deal with the depression. <laughs> Give it a go. What have you got to lose? Apart from your virginity. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to have a go? It's not Skittles. <laughs> I'll wait at the bar, thank you. Oh, seems rather embarrassing to me. Actually, <laughs> it's supposed to be very good. You get to go on lots of little dates and then they last three minutes. Sounds no different to your normal dates. <laughs> I reckon the trick of the place like this is to just play it cool. Hi. What are you doing on Friday? <laughs> I'm actually Kelly, the organiser. Well, good luck. Not that you'll need it. <laughs> actually, good luck. <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> oh. Hello. Fancy seeing you here. I'm just here to pick somebody up. <laughs> I don't mean... I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm just here to get them in the car. <laughs> to get them a lift. I've said I'm sorry. It was a genuine mistake. So what have you learned? There are some things you should never use as an opening line. In particular? When's it due? Sorry, mate, I think the blokes are supposed to be on this side. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, do you come here often? I've told you, I'm only here to collect my friend, nothing more. Blimey, I'm not chatting you up. You're the help. <laughs> oh, I see. A bit of dirt under my fingernails and I'm not good enough for the likes of you. I thought that's what men wanted in life. A maid in the living room, a cook in the kitchen and a whore in the bedroom. I'll have you know, I'm all three. <laughs> from the last one. The first two were pushing it as well. So, you met anyone nice yet? You? Thank you. <laughs> no, I, I mean, have you met anyone nice? Oh. <laughs> Do you want to hear a joke? OK. You've got a ducky on your shoe. Because then you're supposed to say, what's up, ducky? And then I say, nothing's up with me. What's up with you, sweetheart? <laughs> You've got up, ducky. Don't think it's going to work now. <laughs> oh, actually, um, why don't we play choices? So um, you get to know someone's personality by giving them two options, like, Bacon or eggs? You go first. Go 
Cornetto or Magnum? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite... It's quite difficult. <laughs> oh, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> you know it's multiple choice, don't you? <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's a hard one. Um, I'm going to have to pass. <laughs> True, isn't it? You do get to know someone's personality during that game. Ask me another. Why don't you ask me? Oh, all right. Um... <laughs> Cornetto or Magnum? <laughs> I've just asked you that. You see, it's, it's not that easy, is it? <laughs> Come on, then. Uh, Cornetto or Magnum? When you say Magnum, do you mean the chalk ice or the handgun? <laughs> chalk ice. Ah, well, that is difficult, isn't it? You can't shoot yourself in the face with a chalk ice. <laughs> oh, well, that's it, then. Look, do you want to go out for a drink sometime? I know you're supposed to tick a box and all that malarkey, but I just thought I'd be impulsive and ask you now. That way you might have an answer for me by Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I, I can't promise anything, but uh, give me a ring and I'll... I'll think about it. <laughs> You're very sweet uh, for asking, but um, just so that you know, so I usually visit relatives at Christmas. 